Look around you, what do you see? You might see trees, buildings, or maybe other people. Everything you see, everything you touch, everything in the universe is made of tiny particles called atoms. They are the fundamental building blocks of matter. Atoms are so small that you need special instruments to see them. Yet, they hold the secrets to understanding our vast and complex universe. In this essay we'll take a journey into the world of atoms. We'll explore their size, their structure and their incredible importance. Buckle up as we dive into the fascinating realm of the very, very small. The idea of atoms has been around for centuries. It all began with the musings of ancient Greek philosophers. Ancient Greek philosophers first proposed that matter was made up of indivisible particles they called atomos, meaning uncuttable. These early thinkers like Democritus and Leucippus imagined that if you kept cutting a piece of matter into smaller and smaller pieces, you would eventually reach a particle that could not be divided any further. However, it wasn't until the 19th and 20th centuries that scientists developed a concrete understanding of atoms. During this period, the field of chemistry and physics advanced rapidly. Scientists like John Dalton, J.J. Thompson and Ernest Rutherford made groundbreaking discoveries that reshaped our understanding of the atomic world. They discovered that atoms are not the smallest particles after all. Through experiments and theoretical work, they found that atoms themselves are composed of even smaller particles. Atoms themselves are made up of even tinier particles, protons, neutrons and electrons. These subatomic particles are the true building blocks of matter. Protons and neutrons reside in the atom's nucleus, a tiny, dense core. This nucleus is incredibly small compared to the overall size of the atom, yet it contains nearly all of the atom's mass. Electrons, much smaller than protons and neutrons, orbit the nucleus at incredibly high speeds. These electrons are held in place by the electromagnetic force, creating a dynamic and complex structure. This structure with its tiny whirling particles determines the atom's properties and how it interacts with other atoms. The arrangement and behavior of these subatomic particles dictate the chemical and physical properties of the element. For instance, the number of protons in the nucleus defines the element itself, while the arrangement of electrons influences how atoms bond with each other to form molecules. Understanding these interactions is crucial for fields ranging from chemistry to material science and even biology. The study of atoms and their components continues to be a fundamental aspect of scientific research, driving innovations and discoveries that shape our world. So just how small is an atom? It's hard to comprehend their size because they are far smaller than anything we can see with our naked eyes. Imagine a single grain of sand. That grain contains billions upon billions of atoms. To give you a better idea, if an atom were the size of a basketball, then a basketball would be the size of the entire Earth. That's incredibly small. We measure atoms using a unit called the angstrom. One angstrom is one ten billionth of a meter. That's mind-bogglingly tiny. The atom's core, the nucleus, is about 100,000 times smaller than the atom itself. If the atom were a football stadium, the nucleus would be like a marble sitting on the 50-yard line. Despite its tiny size, the nucleus contains almost all of the atom's mass. The electrons, on the other hand, are spread out in a cloud-like region around the nucleus. They are constantly moving, buzzing around the nucleus like bees around a hive. The way these electrons are arranged determines the atom's chemical properties. It dictates how atoms bond with each other to form molecules and, ultimately, everything we see around us. Section 5. Seeing the unseeable, microscopes and atoms. We can't see individual atoms with our eyes, even with the help of ordinary microscopes. It wasn't until the invention of powerful microscopes like the Scanning Tunneling Microscope, or STM, and the Atomic Force Microscope, or AFM, that we could finally see atoms. These incredible instruments use a tiny, sharp tip to scan the surface of materials. By measuring the interactions between the tip and the atoms, these microscopes can create images that reveal the individual atoms and their arrangements. Section 6. From Atoms to Apples, Building the Material World. Atoms are the building blocks of everything we see and interact with. They combine to form molecules, which are groups of two or more atoms held together by chemical bonds. 
For example, water is made up of two hydrogen atoms bonded to one oxygen atom. These molecules then come together in countless ways to create the vast diversity of materials we encounter every day. The wood in our furniture, the metal in our cars, the water we drink, and even the complex molecules that make up our bodies. Section 7. A universe of atoms, from our bodies to distant stars. Atoms are not only the building blocks of our planet, but they are also the building blocks of the entire universe. The stars that light up the night sky are giant balls of hot glowing gas, primarily hydrogen and helium atoms undergoing nuclear fusion. The planets orbiting those stars, the asteroids, the comets, and even the vast clouds of gas and dust scattered throughout space, they are all made up of atoms. We are all connected by these tiny particles from the smallest grain of sand to the most distant galaxy. Section 8. The Quantum Dance Atoms and the Rules of the Very Small When we delve into the world of atoms we enter the realm of quantum mechanics, a set of rules that govern the behavior of matter at the atomic and subatomic level. This realm is vastly different from the macroscopic world we are familiar with. Here, particles can exist in multiple states at once, and their properties are not defined until they are observed. In the quantum world, things don't behave as we might expect based on our everyday experiences. Particles can be in two places at once, and they can even affect each other instantaneously over vast distances, a phenomenon known as quantum entanglement. For example, electrons don't orbit the nucleus like planets around the Sun. The classical image of electrons as tiny planets circling a central nucleus is an oversimplification. Instead, electrons exist in regions of space called orbitals, where they are likely to be found. Instead, they exist in a cloud-like state, their position and momentum governed by probabilities rather than precise locations. This cloud represents the areas where an electron is most likely to be found but we can never pinpoint its exact location at any given moment. This strange and counterintuitive world of quantum mechanics is key to understanding the behavior of atoms and the universe itself. It challenges our classical intuitions and requires us to think in new ways. Quantum mechanics has profound implications, not just for physics, but for chemistry, biology, and even technology. The development of quantum computers, for instance, promises to revolutionize computing by performing complex calculations at unprecedented speeds. Understanding the quantum world opens up a realm of possibilities that could transform our understanding of reality and lead to groundbreaking advancements in science and technology. Section 9. The Power of Atoms, A Call to Wonder In this chapter, we delve into the fascinating world of atoms, the building blocks of everything we see, touch, and experience. These minuscule particles are the foundation of all matter, and their interactions shape the universe in ways both seen and unseen. Atoms are tiny, yet they hold the key to understanding the vastness of the universe and the complexity of life itself. From the smallest grain of sand to the largest star in the sky, atoms are the common thread that weaves the fabric of reality. They are the silent architects of the cosmos, working tirelessly to create the world as we know it. They are a testament to the elegance and wonder of the natural world, reminding us that there is always more to discover, more to learn, and more to explore. The bonds they form and the energy they release are the forces that drive the cycles of nature from the blooming of flowers to the birth of stars. Each atom in its own way tells a story of creation and transformation. So the next time you hold a rock, a flower, or even just a breath of air, take a moment to appreciate the incredible world of atoms that make up everything around you. These tiny particles are not just scientific curiosities, they are the essence of existence, the very stuff of life or even just a breath of air, remember the incredible world of atoms that make up everything around you. Each breath you take, each touch you feel, is a dance of atoms, a symphony of particles coming together in perfect harmony. Remember the incredible world of atoms that make up everything around you. They are the unseen forces that shape our reality, the invisible threads that connect us to the universe. In every exhale and every drop of water, atoms are at work creating and sustaining life. It's a world full of wonder, mystery, and endless possibilities. The study of atoms opens up a realm of knowledge that is both humbling and inspiring. It challenges us to look beyond the surface and to seek out the deeper truths that lie hidden in the fabric of the universe. What are your thoughts on the incredible world of atoms? How do they inspire you to see the world differently? 
As we continue to explore and understand these fundamental particles, we unlock new potentials and possibilities, pushing the boundaries of science and imagination. The journey into the world of atoms is a call to wonder, a call to curiosity, and a call to never stop exploring.